We are now going to simplify using the laws of exponents. We're going to use all of those things that we've just learned and we're going to put them to practice. And we're going to do that so that our answer has no repeated basis. no parentheses, no negative exponents, and no powers to powers. As long as these four things are true, we'll say that a problem is simplified. So for our first example, suppose we're looking at a cubed, b to the minus 1, over parenthesis a squared b cubed squared. So we're going to start by saying, oh, there's a lot of things wrong with this. We have powers to powers, we have parentheses, we have negative exponents, we have repeated basis. Well, we're going to start with the bottom because that's the more complicated piece, and we're going to get rid of our parentheses first by distributing the square through. So on top we still have a cubed b to the minus 1, but on bottom we now get a to the 4th, b to the 6th. Alright, well now we've got to deal with our repeated bases, and by doing that we can get rid of our negative exponents all at once. So a cubed over a to the 4th has more a's on bottom than on top, so we're going to write this as 1 over a to the 4 minus 3, which is 1 over a to the 1st b to the minus 1 over b to the 6th has more b's on bottom. So we're going to do this as 1 over b to the 6th minus a minus 1, which is 1 over b to the 7th. We combine these by multiplying. We get a single 1 on top, we get a single a on bottom, we get a b to the 7th on bottom, and we have our answer. 1 over a b to the 7th. As a similar exercise, notice what happens if we get a little bit more complicated. What if we have 3xy over x squared y to the minus 2 squared times 9x squared y to the minus 3 over x cubed y squared to the minus 1. So this problem is similar to one that we just worked, but now we've got more going on. And I always start inside of the parentheses first before dealing with the powers on the outside. So as we've got an x over an x squared, well that's going to leave us with a single x on bottom. And y over y to the minus 2, we've, we're doing a subtraction, we've got more on top than on bottom, 1's bigger than minus 2, so this becomes 1 minus a minus 2, or y cubed on top squared. On the other side, again, we notice, hey, we got an x on top and an x on bottom. x squared over x cubed leaves a single x on bottom. We have our 9 on top. And our minus 3 mixes with our 2 on bottom. And we do the same thing. So it goes 1 over y squared minus a minus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5 to the minus 1. Now we exercise those powers. So we square and get 9y to the 6th over x squared times, we flip this upside down, we get an x on top, y to the 5th on top, a 9 on bottom. We now look across. We have a 9 on top and a 9 on bottom, so those divide out. We have an x on top and an x squared on bottom, leaving just an x. And y to the 6th times y to the 5th is y to the 11th, so our answer is y to the 11th over x.